Guys, uh, Saturday show. We've got a special guest today. Two special guests. Uh, the Mitchells uh, will be. Uh, look at this basket of jewelry. I can't even wait to get it. I haven't even seen it all. It just. Anyway, uh, we'll see you in just a minute. Dude, yeah, you, I was. Yeah. But, oh man, you should have. Uh, hey everyone. Hey, welcome to Turquoise Skies uh, Saturday Show. Hey, I have Matthew James here. We're in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Uh, I've got some very special guests. We've got Reggie and Bronson Mitchell. Hello. Hello. Good to be here. Yeah, thank you for joining us. We'll give everyone a few minutes. Hey, Linda. Uh, it usually takes a couple minutes for everyone to come in. Yeah. It gives us some time to chat. But, oh my gosh. Yeah, man. I was like, hey, Reggie, do you have any inventory? He's like, well, I've got a few pieces. Yeah. And he w walks in with this whole basket just full of silver. <laughs> well, we, had, we had to be able to kind of like see you know, the, the various price yeah. ranges of stuff. You yeah, know? yeah. And hopefully we'll, we'll see what happens. I mean, look at this right at the top. There's some Golden Hills just sticking its head around the corner. We've got yeah. some amazing Kingman Matrix, just some spider web, mm -hmm. water web. Oh, yeah, my gosh. You know, polychrome. You, you, you're in for a treat today. Hey, everyone. Hello. Hey, Kathy. Hey, Diane. Hey, Mick, uh, Mickey, Sarah. Wow, everyone's here. Everyone, welcome. Uh, hmm. Welcome to the show. Uh, so if you have not been here before, uh, welcome to your first show. If you've been here before, welcome back. Uh, we are Turquoise Skies here in Albuquerque, New Mexico, uh, just on the edge of Uptown and Northeast uh, Albuquerque. Um, if you're in town, please swing by. Um, but we have a special show uh, that we're going to be showing you jewelry. Um, the jewelry is for sale. Uh, if you see something, um, you're welcome to buy it. Now, all you have to do is say sold in the comments. Uh, let us know what number you're looking at and we'll set it aside for you. Mm -hmm. um, all we need is your email and we can send you an invoice. And once you receive an invoice, you can pay uh, with PayPal, with a credit card. We've got a, uh, a couple layaway systems, a financing option called Klarna. Uh, we do layaway for any pieces over $250. Uh, don't hesitate to reach out if you see anything. These pieces do not belong to Turquoise Skies. These are uh, privately owned by an independent artist, uh, Reggie and, and Bronson here. Uh, this is their jewelry. Um, we're taking a cut, uh, and this is just our way of bringing uh, artists to you and helping the artist as well uh, have another platform to sell their stuff. And so thank you. Thank you, gentlemen. Yeah, of course. Thanks for having us. Yeah, yeah, for sure. For sure. Yeah. Whew. Uh, so I don't even know where to start. Maybe we should. Maybe we should just talk about you a little bit. And yeah, sure. Where you guys came from. Cool. Well, well, with my son here, Bronson, we've been doing jewelry work down in our family for six generations now, and uh, a lot of the stuff that we learn how to do, as you'll see here, uh, we learned directly from my dad. His name is Eugene Mitchell, and we don't have any like formal uh, schooling. Um, so when we get artists that come up to us that they say, uh, what style or this, this, and then they use these terminologies that we're like, uh, mm, don't really know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I can see why people ask questions because I mean, you'll see that the phenomenal work we're, we're going to show you in a few yeah. minutes and, and, and generally, uh, you've got some old traditional methods that you use just right. because you've been taught through the generations and I know your dad, right. uh, he, and he, he, he had a very similar style that you. Uh, right and um, and and what would you call this style? I'd say this old yeah. Navajo sand casting and tufa cast. Yeah, it's, we, it's it's traditional. It's the old style, and we make all of our jewelry from uh, the old tufa stone. And then we um, and after that, what we'll do is um, uh, sand cast it. So, really gives it that real beautiful finish. Um, it, we're just really proud to be able to, to just carry on this proud tradition of ours. Well, you're you're definitely in for a treat, everyone. Thank you for uh, thank you for joining. Uh, and Bronson. And, yeah. And, and what you what got what what how did you get inspired? Did you see your? Well, you know, growing up, it's always been part of the family. Yeah. I'd see Grandpa, Dad working on something. They'd be melting something or hammering <laughs> something. And so, being a little kid, you're interested in what what your your folks are up to. You yeah. Know? And so my grandpa would have me like hold this torch, you know, like <laughs> you know, like really terrified of this flame, you know. Mm -hmm. But over the years, you. It becomes just a tool, you know? Yeah. Uh, I really love it, this expression of art. And as mentioned before, it does span five, six generations now. Wow. Which is pretty powerful. That's pretty impressive, you know? We've, we've get, I mean, 
passing down through the family like that, there's some certain tech just uh, experience that, you, that right. you can't really get except you know through passing down through generations. And yeah, I mean this style of jewelry you can't replicate by you have to do it the traditional way. It it would be almost impossible to get so much depth with like wax or sheets and yep. things like that. And yeah. But once you buy these pieces and you feel them for yourself, you're gonna realize that we don't we're not we're not cheap on the silver. There's a lot of silver in these pieces and putting that time and attention into all this this work, you better put a good stone on it. You know, some uh, like real stones, you know, and that's what really uh, separates you know, a good piece of jewelry than, 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 a, than a normal piece of one. But. And it raises a good point, and a good point for everyone, and, and you all know, each of these pieces are one of a kind. Uh, they, they're, they're, they're handmade, uh, the stones are unique, um, there is only one of these. Uh, there might be some, uh, we've got some earrings here, which is like the same uh, pattern, but um, some of these bigger bracelets, you can only find one. As we're putting these on the screen, um, if you like something, uh, and it's sold, we may have to get in contact with Reggie and Bronson after the show. Um, so if you're looking for something custom, um, please contact us after the show. The pieces that, are set, that sell are one of a kind, and it's first come, first serve. Uh, whoever says sold first gets the piece. So, But there is plenty here for everyone. Uh, so <laughs> we'll see. And just uh, so you know, we're, we've all been fully vaccinated to all three of us. That's here. right. Yeah. So we're we're very uh, thankful for that too. Also. Thanks yeah. for reminding me of that. Yeah, yeah of we course. do have people asking, and uh, it is one of our. If we, if we do not have a two-week vaccination, we put up our screen, and we wear our masks. But uh, mm -hmm. yeah, we are all vaccinated here today. Um, so anyway, let's get into it, huh? Go yeah, ahead. sure. Well, first off, let's go ahead and donate this beautiful bracelet to you and to your staff, your oh, whatever wow. you do. It's Caracol Lake Turquoise. Again, you can feel the silver in that. It's a lot. Oh my gosh. Stay tuned, everyone. As you know, we do our uh, our shows for our nonprofit. Uh, Reggie is donating this piece. It's Caracol Lake, and it's heavy too, solid, uh, to the nonprofit. And we use the money uh, to donate um, to uh, students in the jewelry program here at CNM. Um, as well as it helps pay for our internship program for students learning the trade. So thank you, Reggie. I of really course. appreciate it. Mm -hmm. This is this is great. I'm gonna just stick this right back here. Mm -hmm. For the cause, man. You know? Thank you. <laughs> uh, okay. You ready to? Where where, where do we want to start? Could I explain a yeah, little bit about the history, sure. though? Yeah. So the how all of this jewelry, um, sand casting and tufa casting came into existence was. Way back when, um, the Navajos, and well, that's what we are, we're, we're Diné. And so our ancestors did a lot of trading with the Spaniards, and that's how we got gold and silver coins. So with the coins, we would hammer those into like little contact lenses, and then solder them together to make beads, sort of like these. But we don't have coins anymore, so we have to use sheets of metal to replicate the, the same idea. But if we didn't use the coins themselves to make beads, we would then carve molds in tufa stone, which is a volcanic ash. And uh, because of its volcanic nature, it's heat resistant and it's pretty soft, so you can carve designs with um, a knife, nail, whatever you have. And so all of these pieces were done in that manner. So we still mine tufa stones, we still sand them into bricks and hand carve the molds and we melt our silver and cast them. And so for every one of these pieces, it spans since that time with Spaniards and our ancestors, and we still do the same techniques today. Cool. Cool. Well, uh, it's your call. We're All right, let's pick one. A, well, let's go ahead and look at, um, we, what we forgot to bring was the tufa, the actual some tufa molds oh, that, you can see them, yeah. That would be good to see. Like, um, let's go ahead and start with this beauty right here. Okay. We were looking at that before. I've been it's almost staring at that. that piece. We had a, we had a whole show on uh, Golden Hills uh, two, about a week and a half ago, mm. and oh my gosh, <clears throat> look at that, everyone. Yeah. This is Golden Hills turquoise, which comes from uh, Kazakhstan. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just very unique 
lavender shade of turquoise, which is it's just super duper rare spiderweb pattern. But enough about the turquoise, let's talk about uh, the work here um, that we've been talking about this whole time, really. Um, this was all hand cast. Um, the design was hand carved, and uh, this is one of your Tufa cast pieces. Yes, that's correct. Um, so, uh, Reggie carved that volcanic ash Tufa stone. Look at the symmetry of the piece. I, I yeah, I wish we we had that stone. We could we could show, but it'd make a lot more sense. Yeah. Um, yeah, and and then melting the metal and pouring it into the cast is it's it's actually a little dangerous, and I'm sure you. you You've been doing it for so long that it's uh, you've figured out your safety techniques and oh, stuff. Oh man, yeah, you have to. You, it's all about preparation, you know, and, and having a lot of respect for what you do, and um, because you know you don't want to break the mold or you don't want to be able to you know to, to mess up the sand, you know. You yeah. have to be able to make sure that you're. It's it's you can get pretty hot, so there you go. So yeah, we burn ourselves plenty, you know. This this is number one. That's right. Uh, uh, this is number one, and we'll we'll let you know the price. What what is your price on this piece? Let's go ahead and go pretty low on that. I'll go ahead and go. We'll go ahead and go eight eighty five on that. Eight eighty five. That is an amazing deal for. I mean, this stone alone right now, I, I can't find it for less than ten dollars a carat. Yeah. Really. Um, so I mean, that's a. Of course, if I was in Santa Fe, I'd sell that thing for fourteen hundred dollars. Yeah. No kidding. Yeah. If you see that even in in Albuquerque galleries here, I'd put that in the gallery for fourteen hundred. That. Um, so we're starting here. Uh, this is uh, eight. What'd you say? Eight. Yeah, eight eighty-five. Eight eighty-five. Can you write that down, Holden? Yeah, I have it. Okay. Just so we come back, we'll have our prices. Uh, the size on this, we're we're measuring a five inch on the cuff, with a uh, one inch gap. So you're looking at a size six wrist. Um, it is. Uh, you'll have to ask if you need that sized up a little bit. I'm sure um, it, it's not. This is not uh, easy to to change the size. We're going to have to ask uh, Reggie to to get the hammer out and and shape it a little different. But I'm sure if you want it, if you had a six and a half wrist, that we could also make that work. Mm -hmm. So we're looking at eight eighty five for this number one, uh, which is Golden Hills uh, Tufa Cast. We get a lot of anticipation on the first few, and then yeah. And if you look at the um, the, tw the bezel and the twist wire, all, all on this area here, all of that is um, in this particular piece is all handmade too. And so you know those aren't like commercial bought. We make those there also. Yeah, we roll our own sheets and we make our own wires. Wow, that's pretty incredible. You see what he's talking about here? Do you see this uh, this border work? We've got this serrated bezel, and then on the outside of that, we've got a uh, rope wire border, which. Uh, they're rolling their own silver, uh, they're drawing their own wire, um, either drawing or rolling mill, mm -hmm. right. and uh, it takes a lot of time to heat that that metal up, roll it, heat it up, anneal it, roll it, and then once they have the wire, they do their own twisting to create that. Um, we've got our hand, hand forged uh, buttons there. Sold to Leticia. Leticia Middleton. All right. Oh, I didn't tell you. Wait, have you seen the drum? No. See how he's drumming his chest? <laughs> <laughs> we, this is our thank you drum when someone buys something. Oh, hey. We just give him a little tap and then... Uh, just leave it just like that? Yeah, it's actually a hand drum. If you oh, flip it over cool. on the back side, you see the little grip? Oh, yeah. Yeah, and then Look you just, just give, give her a little tap. Thank you, okay. Leticia. Congratulations. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Awesome, man. All right. Leticia Middleton. Let's go ahead and... Do you want me to pull... Uh, got another. Down. We'll, we'll, we'll keep an eye on it. Yeah. Got another beautiful. Uh, this another little golden hills here. This one's very elegant. Oh wow, this is cool. Yeah, that's beautiful right there for sure. I love that wave. And and so this is this, was this cast like this or did you draw that and and forge it? Yeah, no, we cast it in a right. in a shape. Okay. The idea behind that piece is to right. be uh, to fit around the the wrist bones. Yeah. So it's more comfortable to flex your, your hand. Well, that's such an interesting yeah. design. I don't think it'll fit on me. No, 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 no. This one will here, though. This is a little bit larger like, one. Yes, okay. the same design. But then, what I'm getting at is if you put it on yep. your wrist and slide it forward, you see the bone there? Oh, yeah. So you, it bends. That's how that Let's one is Let's check there. that out. I'm going to show everyone. Uh, we'll get to this one next. But we have, uh, I 
Let me zoom out a little bit. There we go. Do you see how that fits around my wrist bones? There, my wrist bone. That is designed to just go around and fit just like that. And man, everyone's, they're going to want this one now too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm a six and a half. So that's, we'll make this one number three. We'll get into that one in just a second. Yeah, that one there is a, a more petite and elegant. Very lovely piece. What is the price on this one? Because people start asking. Okay, uh, that one there, we'll go ahead and go, um, I'll go ahead and go 435 on that piece there. 435 for the Golden Hills uh, Petite. Uh, number two, let me get my measuring tape. And that one's a little bit more, uh, you know, supple. You can actually... That's that. more malleable yeah, than if other you needed to, If you needed to open it up. Yeah, yeah. You're right. So we're looking at five and a quarter with a one inch gap. So you're looking at six and a quarter. So we can open that up to six and a half. That could fit me if I, if I cranked on it a little bit. Uh, so six to six and a half shouldn't be a problem you can probably even get it up to uh, six and three quarters deborah i know you want a size seven that will fit her there uh, the next piece uh number three that we'll be bringing up sh you shouldn't have a problem with that three. so this is number two sold to diane spees all right Thank you, Diane. Congratulations. Yes, thank yes, you so thank much. You. Found that drum. Give me the thank you drum. Thank you drum. Just give me, <laughs> give me a signal if you want help. Yeah. Okay. Diane's keys. Awesome. Good job. Those are beautiful pieces for sure. As you see, everyone, uh, these are one of a kind and they are going to go. And so we've only had two pieces and they're gone. If you see something you like, you got to jump on it because they're they're going to they're going to fly. Right. Uh, this piece, um, this will fit that size seven wrist. I'm a six and a half and it fit me perfectly and there's room to uh, squeeze it, uh, bring it up, bring it down. What is their price on this one? That one there will be, uh, that, you know, I'll go ahead and go good on that one too also. I'll go, go four, um, I'll go 495 on that. It's a large stone. 495. We've got the large stone. What is that? That yeah. green is beautiful. Yeah, that's a Verisite there. Um, I Man. skipped some mine, but I can get the name of that that, that stone. From there. Nevada? Yeah, yes. exactly. Yeah, that is, I mean, all of that uh, all that iron in Nevada, you see the Royston mine in the Royston mine district. You got a lot of turquoise there. Verisite is basically a cousin of turquoise and sometimes can be confused as turquoise. Uh, and that beautiful green. Look at how shiny that is. Your polish is incredible too. Yeah, thank you. Your your, your shiny stones. Are you doing all that? Oh, we do. We have our own lapidary yeah. machines, yeah. and yeah, it's a lot of fun. Man, that is that's great. And this again is that two foot cast pattern. Um, it fits around the wrist bones. Yeah. See that? How that fits around? See, I'm a, I'm a six and a half. And that just it just curves around the bone, and so. It fits very nicely. Let's call it. What is that? Let's see it again. It might be auto. Or maybe it, I'm almost certain. Well, we don't need to double check. Wow, stone is killer. And again, no. we've got the hand uh, made Here it is. twist wire border. Yeah, it's actually it's called Autumn Creek Turquoise. That's what that's called. Autumn Creek Turquoise. Yeah. Right there. Okay, Autumn Creek. Looks like uh, wow, that, that that color is just incredible. Name of the artist. This is Reggie Mitchell. Reggie Mitchell. And if you want to change the camera real fast, Holden will uh, do another intro. I know we're getting a lot of people coming in, uh, joining us. Uh, we've got Reggie and Bronson Mitch Mitchell, fifth and sixth generation Navajo silversmiths in traditional Navajo casting, uh, mm -hmm. both in sand casting and tufa casting. And uh, we're showing their pieces today. These are all their their work, and uh, uh, you can buy directly from them today. So love the green. Uh, is is your name marked on the back yeah, here? Yeah, it's all there. Let's What's get... cool about the back too? Yeah, is um, you get to see a lot of the. We like to leave the tufa texture. So if you notice those really cool lightning style um, veins, veins and textures. That is, you can only get that through carving the tufa stones. And so when we cast them, we like to leave the evidence on the back because otherwise it could have been done in pretty much any other method. 
but this goes to show the earth and the metal and it's just really really cool to to really to, to look at yeah and that's another unique factor here you know just like every snowflake is different um, that formation of those veins and things on the tufa are going to be unique uh, with that tufa stone and so if you have someone mass producing and you see a design like this you'll see those same lines over and over and over mm -hmm. this is just an indication of that that uniqueness and there yeah. there you go there's the there's the Mitchell RS Mitchell hallmark right there mark of the artist yeah you'll see in some cases like the horse stamp that's on there too because our business is called uh, dark horse dark horse now with jewelry right there we go okay so this one was uh, four uh, 495 yeah mm -hmm. 495 and that'll be item number three uh, we had a question if you just had bracelets or if you have other things. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We got other things. Too. You want to see some earrings? Do you have any crosses in there? Oh, yeah. We got we a, cross. a cross. Here somewhere. Here's uh, a, Tammy's looking for a cross. There's a Tufa cast cross right there. Oh, wow. Cool. There you go, Tammy. We've got the Tufa cast cross. Mm -hmm. and, and we've got these. Uh, this is a very traditional Navajo pattern, the, the corn. Yes. Um, it's kind of a fleur-de-lis uh, that you would see um, in uh, French style, but this is more of a Navajo corn. Uh, do you have anything to say about that design? It just represents uh, prosperity and growth. Like we believe we are of corn, and so we want to put that symbol because it's so powerful to us on our jewelry. One of the sister plants, you've got corn, you've got beans, you've got... Uh, what am I missing? There's the squash. There. Squash, that's right, mm -hmm. squash. The sisters uh, bringing life, uh, very sacred. And the corn is uh, represented here in these in these designs. Love that natural tufa yeah. texturing here. Do you see all that? What is your price on this one before it That one there is 265 265 Can you believe that? 265 unique uh, hand cast cross there. And it's got the uh, shepherd's hook in the back so it can be opened up some and There you go. You, or it, a piece of leather or something. If you need to, can you open this up a little yes, bit? Yes, yeah. yeah. Okay, that's what you're saying. So you, you can open this oh. and you can put that on uh, your Navajo pearls, your, your beaded jewelry, and I'll stop talking about it because Tammy uh, purchased this piece. Congratulations, Tammy. Thank you so much. Boo, 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 boo. <laughs> Here's a beautiful um, Naja. This is Sleeping Beauty. You see the. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this. Sleeping Beauty Naja? Yeah, with the cross on it, with also the Shepherd's Hook, also. There we go. Another pendant here. We're, we've got the Naja, which uh, we've been talking about Najas lately. And really cool how you're just talking about the interaction with the Spanish and Navajo mm -hmm. and, and, and when this horses. Uh, came over and they were ridden by the Spanish. You had the horse's bridle, uh, which was this Naja design. And uh, the Navajo warriors would take that. It's well, a symbol of power. Mm -hmm. To us, it, every culture has their own interpretations of the same symbols. That symbol, in, through my studies, was taught to the Spaniards by the Moors. That's right. And yeah. that came from Jerusalem before that. Wow, it was a fast. symbol of fer fertility, but it changes as it crosses cultures and uh, beautiful. And then you have this this cross here, which um, there's some Christian influence there, but also the cross uh, is was special to the Navajo before uh, you had Christianity even come around. Mm -hmm. So you got a great blend of culture there, uh, handmade uh, cast Naja. And it's 445 on that. 445 for the Naja. Oh, look at that texture on the camera. Like, yeah, that's it's just, Spark, it, yeah, I can't explain that. It looks like snow. Yeah, it's, and Sleeping Beauty turquoise there too. Let's put it on this here. Okay. Let's try look at this. There you go. Let's see what here we go on the Navajo pearls. Size on that. Uh, we'll get the size of the pendant. The pendant by itself. Do we have a price on the pendant? Uh, what do they say for? 445? Yeah, 445. 445, yeah. And that's natural sleeping beauty, folks. We're looking at two and a half in the diameter. Natural sleeping beauty stones there. You see the, those turquoise stones, uh, which is a mine that is no longer producing 
uh, turquoise, known for its uh, highly sought after blue color, and then also uh, its limited matrix, it's just solid blue. Uh, one of the things turquoise beauty was known for, or uh, sleeping beauty. Let's, can I get a shot over here, Holden? Just to show that on the on the pearls. There we go. Look at that. Get the whole piece there. A little bit in black t shirts. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that <was> black t shirt. <laughs> awesome. So yeah, that man. that is number uh number we on holding number five. This five. Yeah, that will be separate though. Uh, the Navajo pearls are separate from that if you were interested in that as well. Do you have a price on your pearls? Um, that one there, I'll go to six twenty-five on that. Six twenty-five. Okay, those are handmade pearls. Mm -hmm. Those take forever. That's Jeez, yeah. This is a this is a <laughs> lovely piece here. Bronson put this together. That's a natural number eight, eight turquoise there too. Check it out. Wow, spider webbing. Look at that spider web. Look at that color. I don't even know if my, I need to like block my cameras just to like. Yeah, that's lovely. Can we make the camera just a little bigger, Holden? I'm having trouble seeing it around this light. Oof. Boom. Boom, yeah. Let me just get there a that's, we go. That's very lovely stone there. There we go. The pieces. It's another one of those elegant type of designs there too. You can see the rough on the inside of the, the texture. The texture oh, too. Yeah, yeah. Right, right on the inside yeah. there, that tufa. And that's all from Mother Earth. We didn't use a bit or anything to get that. Cool. Dark Horse, you have your website? We have one. We do. It's, if you want to follow us, you can look under uh, uh, Fierce War Chief. Yeah, you look under on Instagram, it would be Fierce War Chief, or just look under Reggie Mitchell. Oop. And then also on Inst um, on Facebook at, at R Reggie Mitchell, so R E G G I E Mitchell M I T C H E L L, and you'll see uh, I post a lot of stuff on on the on the on both those two Instagram and uh, Facebook. And uh, Holden, do you mind posting our inner circle link? Uh, if you like to stay in touch and and uh, would like to have custom work or anything, we can connect with the artist. Just click on that link below. This is our private turquoise. Um, Sky's uh, Facebook group uh, just for you. We'd love to see your jewelry and uh, it's a great place to communicate with us. So anyway, we're at, I'm sure everyone's already asking about prices, sizes and stuff. Right. This is a, this is an original Bronson Mitchell. Yeah. What, what well, yeah, Bronson made that whole piece there and that one there is going to be 335 on that 335, piece. man, that's a deal. This one's gone. There we go. We've got, uh, it's a five with looking like just over one, one inch gap. So this is six. Uh, we that can, can be open, our clothes. It's quite malleable too. We can s squeeze that down, we can open it up. That is a, that is actually number eight. I mean, it, I have to block my light here just so you can get that. We've got that water web, number eight water web, turquoise, that spider web pattern, but oh my gosh, look, it just glows. Great finish too. Thank you. Love and uh, three. What was it? Three thirty-five. Three yeah. thirty-five. You said it was gone. Just well, <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I just figured it's gone for that price. Three thirty-five. This is item number six. Man, that is, that's crazy. Beautiful. How many people do we have up on Facebook right now, Holden? Can you tell? I was. 81 on Facebook, 20 on okay. Alright, got 100. I'm just surprised that that one's sticking around longer than... We will go back over these towards the end. What do we have next? Want well, to see something different? That's yeah. Waterweb Kingman. That's Buckle. That's done in the old style too. Wow, old uh, Kingman Waterweb Water Belt Buckles. Whew. Yeah, just... My lights can't handle it. Look how that just glows. Oh my gosh. And you can feel the weight in the silver. Uh, number six too. sold, Rita Hoffman. Hey. Hey, congratulations, hey. Rita. That is this piece here. Uh, congratulations, Rita.
Yeah, you, prices are good with these stones, these natural green yeah, stones. Yeah, you know, just to get get it going. That that's a really, I like that buckle a lot. Number seven, uh, we've got the belt buckle. Amazing. Water web. Again, and then, again the that, twist wire and the bezel wire is all handcrafted too. The camera just doesn't do justice here to the stone. I have to cover up the lights a little bit or it just it just saturates yeah, it. Yeah, it just saturates. It's so beautiful. It's and that's done in the old down. style too with the um with the bar in the back. Everything's twisted. You'll see even the the horse stamps on on, on the back also. Let's check that out. Here we go. We've got that bronze was showing out earlier. Look, you got a little dog bone right there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we got those natural uh, Tupa cast patterns there. R.S. Mitchell. Uh, we've got this is where your belt loop is going to go through. Let's get a measurement on the belt that this is going to fit. That's going to work with a one and a half inch belt. You might as well win the rodeo. Yeah, that's a nice. That's one. a beautiful piece. And that's a large uh, piece of uh, uh, Waterway of Kingman. What, so. is, what is your price on this piece? That one there is going to be um, six sixty five on that. Or excuse me, sixteen sixteen sixty five on that. Piece. Sixteen sixty five. Mm -hmm. A lot of that is this turquoise here, and that the weight, just solid. You don't mess around with your weights here. Even if the price of silver is going up to what yeah. thirty dollars an ounce or something like that. That's, yeah, that piece for sure in Sanford will be over two. It'll be over two grand easy. Number seven. That's lovely. Okay. Mm -hmm. For one. Okay, this is a lovely one too. Go. Got another cast bracelet here. Let's back it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I love the, that little meat, that little speck of pyrite just sticking out. We've got the cast bracelet with this is this board is a little different. Yeah. What's going on there? What'd you do? I I really like doing my bezels with that cool, I don't know, it's different to me. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I don't even know. It's kind of, it's not quite scalloped. It's not quite like, it's it's unique. Thank you. I just really like how tight and elegant it fits. And twist wire is great too. I love all these different settings, but for me, lately I've been really into those, those sorts of bezels. Deborah yeah. said she bought silver at 12. That was a great investment, Deborah, because <laughs> it's uh, it's like almost tripled since then. It's it doubled at least. Uh, oh, oh, you're buying silver for twelve dollars? Yeah, yeah that's, that's, a, that's amazing. Yeah, that's you can't do that nowadays. No way. God, this is uh, what what is the price on this piece? Yeah, that one over there would be four twenty five. Four twenty five. Got that thick. Uh, it must have a butterfly design in there a little mm -hmm. bit. Mm -hmm. It's five with a, oh, yeah. just an under one inch gap. This is like a five and three fourths to six. It's a small bracelet for a small wrist. Ten, ten and a half, ten, ten, ten and three fourths. Yeah. We've got some requests for some earrings. Okay. Yeah, yeah let's look at those. We've, we've, we've got, water birds. oh yeah, there you go, do that one. Beautiful. Yeah, those ones are really cool. This is number eight, just think on eight. Ooh, yeah. Oh, sorry, I just touched the top. No, it's oh, I didn't even, didn't even recognize the way you set that stone there until you brought them over here. We've got a pair of earrings. And uh, do you have a specific name for these? Those are also carved in tufa and cast. It's incredibly hard to cast thin metal like that because it don't it won't run all the way through. So you have to do a lot of tricks to get the, the metal to fill those those really thin molds. But we got it done, and um, we, we hand stamped all the stamp on the on the sides to give it some detail on the tail, the wings. We call it the water bird, and um, those are it's prong set with those are also Sleeping Beauty stones. Well, prong set Sleeping Beauty. What he means by prong is you see those those little prongs there that are holding in that cab. 
and as you can see the price the price the what is the price on these that's going to be 265 265 for the set of unique tufa cast earrings all my french uh, hooks too are... the, the shape let's take a look at the french hooks you know you got a little peyote flower button right there on the on the hook unique handmade hooks mm -hmm. sold oh. wanda wanda i'm still working on your earrings too I, I've got a pair of earrings for Wanda that I've been working oh, on yeah, for a while. Right, drum. Congratulations, Congratulations. Wanda. <laughs> Isn't that fun? It is fun. I like yeah. it. It's a nice Wanda drum. Harmona. You ready to do these hoops? These ones are real. Yeah, really let's cool. do some hoops. There's another pair of earrings here, too. These ones are really unique, too. Let me see how they move about. Okay, it's got some motion to it. Yeah. Here we go. We've got these uh, bead hoops, and beads are always hard to show on camera. Let's see if I can do it justice. You've got the hoop here uh, with this bead wire, oxidized finish, and and these have movement to them, as uh, we were seeing earlier. They will just move along the track there on these handmade uh, shepherd hooks. And uh, what is your price on these? Yeah, those are going to be 185 on those. 185 for the for the hooks, or for the the hoops. The hoops. We're going to get the measurements and see how wide yeah, it is. Yeah, sold. Oh, okay. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. Boom, boom. Dan yes. Cloud. Thank uh, you those so are going to be they're two inches. Dan yeah. Cloud. These ones are really cool too. Probably save those for after. Yeah, we'll save those. Let's show something different. different. Do a couple more bracelets, and I mean, you got a whole. Oh my gosh. How about a ring? Want to do a ring? Yeah, let's do a ring. This is a really cool. This is Brandon Pitt turquoise. Brandon Pitt. I yeah. haven't heard of Brandon. Pitt. Yeah, and then you look at the. Um, this is all uh, sandcasted too. You see the rough in there. All yeah. that. And Bronson made this too. He put that whole thing together. I love. Really like that. It's a size uh, ten. Ten and, and three fourths. Yeah. Size 10 and 3 fourths. I'm sure we could size that up to 11 if you needed to. It's going to be really difficult to change the size other than that. Uh, this is cast. Yes. How long have you been designing? Yeah. About six generations, right? Mm -hmm. that like 200 years? Something like that. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I. Um, if, you, if you notice the negative space in between the, the what do you call those? My little solder things. Yeah, if you look at the negative space, you should be able to tell that that's a fox. A oh. fox face. Our head. Wow, right there, just like that. Yeah, the dark, the you black see that? part. The negative space there in these flanks on the side of the van uh, is a fox. That's cool. That's really cool. And then you've got your stamp work uh, overlay flanks here. Exactly. Yeah. And then four total, two on each side for the four sacred mountains, of course. But look at that turquoise. Isn't that cool? That's really cool. What did you call the mine? Hey, Brandon oh. Pitt. Yeah, Brandon Pitt turquoise. turquoise. Brandon yeah. Pitt. That's, uh, you almost have like this orange to peach color of the mother stone that transitions down into this river of uh, ribbon uh, blue turquoise there running through the valley and it's Grass is always greener on the other side, right? There it is. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. We've got some, some hints of that turquoise lake coming up, peeking around the corner. What's the size on that? Oh, my gosh. It's uh, 10 and 3 fourths to 11. Beautiful. Yeah. And, of course, uh, as we've seen as uh, a theme here, everything is handmade. You've got the, the twist wire there is hand twist. And almost, it's not a true shadow box, but with the oxidation uh, between this flat bezel and the, the border, you get that dark line that just uh, gives you a border on the turquoise that just makes it glow. It gives an amazing contrast. So that is item number nine. We'll call that nine, Colden, I guess. The other ones are gone. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Item number nine, the ring. Cool. What else are we you? How about this one? Yeah, let's do that one. Check this one. This is a Royston turquoise. All right. Yeah, I like that. 
What was the price on number nine? What was the price on that ring? Um, let's go cheap on that. We'll go ahead and go. Uh, we were gonna put it at six sixty five, but Bronson just motioned to me he'll sell it for five hundred dollars. Five hundred for mm -hmm. the ring, yeah. Okay, you, you took it down there. Uh, five hundred for that for that ring, Linda. That piece is cool right there. Yeah, I love it so much. <laughs> okay, next piece. Uh, we've got this Royston turquoise bracelet. Mm -hmm. Man, it's cool to see your stuff there on camera. You can see all the texture on that baby. It's yeah, cool. Look at that texture on the sides. That yeah. turquoise, it's almost like, wow, yeah. with Royston, I haven't seen a lot of this like red earth. Yeah. So you captured really cool piece there. That's a really, really unique stone on that baby. And then you get the stamp, the three stamp, you know, on each side there too. Uh, there was it was taught that three is, uh, is represents things that are holy, and then four it represents um, things that are sacred. So, really cool piece there. Um, uh, price on this one? That one there will be uh, four hundred dollars. Four hundred. This will be number ten. Four hundred. Uh, we're looking at a five with a one inch again. Uh, that'll. That'll uh, allow us to do uh, six to six and a half. Um, this can this is malleable. We can open it up. Yeah, awesome. It's just the stones that you're using are pretty awesome, and we're very great combination with to... your collection of stones yeah. with the craftsmanship that just complement each other really nicely. Right. You have professional work six generations of design and learning mm. to bring you this beautiful piece number 10 four hundred dollars that's gorgeous please. here's um another nausea that's a different type uh, same type of um royston. royston turquoise too got a lighter a uh, little bit lighter variation of that royston turquoise Kind of like this little vein just coming through yeah. there like a shooting star or something. And what it was um, taught to me with my old man too and how what the Navajos have learned to be able to like relate to it is that you make you, you come into earth, you know, you, you, as a spiritual being, you come into earth as spiritual and you have human experiences. You have this travel going all the way around and you're back out as a spiritual being here. Hmm. And then uh, my dad said that this, these two here, um, the, the inside one would be like the female's arms, right? That would be in, into the home, uh -huh. right? Yeah. And then the outside one would be, you know, the, the father's, you know, or the male. So you have the female on the inside, and then you have the, the, the male on the outside. And um, of course, there's there, you know, there's the east, and then the, you know, after that you have your uh, your south, and you know, should be your, your east, your south, your west, and your north. And um, they say that on the that the south, the east and the and the east and south are female, and then the west and the north are male. So you all, there's so much significance behind that, and you should always really be careful of who you bring into your home, so to speak. And you have that nausea right there by your heart, you know, for you know for protection. And they also say that when you have wear the turquoise, that's how the holy people will recognize you. You know, and, and bless you throughout the day as you wear your jewelry. And holy wise, it's pretty interesting because uh, it, you say holy is in uh, sometimes in, in sets of three, and you almost have three nausea's there. You've got the inner one, the outer one, and then you kind of have a secret one there. That negative space mm -hmm. makes that third nausea. And yeah, there comes back that number three. You've got threes and fours. Awesome. <clears throat> what is the price on this piece? That one there. Um, that's a special piece there. You know, I really like it a lot. I'll go ahead and go. Uh, I'll go 315 on that. 315, uh, two inch solid, two for cast, uh, Navajo traditional cast naja. And it also has a shepherd's shepherd hook, too. hook with the shepherd's hook in the back there, so you can place it on your adjustable uh, Navajo pearls, however you like. I'm putting that there on number 11. Oh, yeah, yeah. Look at that piece. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's 
wedding, man. Man, that's... Ooh. That right there is um, a Verisite too, and that woman was... Uh, Damali. Yeah, Damali Turco, or Damali Verisite. Damali Verisite. The stamp work came out beautiful on that. And that's what, that's what we refer to as our four winds bracelet. You can see the, all, you know, the four winds on you know, each side there and surging the power of, you know, right into that the, oh, the stone. It. Yeah. it almost looks like wind hitting it and just... Yeah, exactly, right. That's cool. And four as in, you got two on this side and two on this side. That, that's great. I, I, I really like the layers here. Uh, your serrated bezel with the oxidation that you're doing with this just creates a really cool. Yeah, that twist wire pops, man. A lot of this stuff too, you know, when you wear them in, in, you know, in the sun, you'll see it just come alive. It's gorgeous. Cool, this piece is item number 12 and the price on this piece. And that one there is going to be, that one there is going to be, sit. I'll, I'll go ahead and $700 on that. That's nice. Yeah, it's beautiful. 700 for the Damali. Four winds bracelet. Damali. Parasite four winds bracelet. Size on that, you ask, Holden? Uh, five and a fourth with a one inch gap. We're gonna, we're gonna be able to go anywhere between a uh, six and a fourth to six and three fourths on this piece. Beautiful, that's number 12. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Let me try this one. Go for yeah. it. Yeah, this one's just sticking out to me just because uh, that natural. Those are pink color. cinnamon corals. Pink cinnamon corals. Well, sa salmon? Salmon. Yeah, yeah, pink salmon corals, right. Number 10 sold. Number 10 sold, Boom. that is, uh, whoa, yeah, that Royston one. Royston, yeah. Yeah, number 10 is a Royston. Thank you. Patricia, thank you. Yeah, that's a, that piece there is really cool. Yeah, I love it so much. I love all our jewelry, though. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. How does it feel when you, when you put your heart and soul into these pieces and then, you know? Like you know, for, for me, when I make the jewelry and it comes out, and it's like, because it, it takes so much time and energy to put, you know, y y yourself into it. Of course, life happens and things, you know, occur and you have to be able to roll with them, you know, I mean, and still go back to your work and still have that right, right, right mind, that right attitude toward it. But the best part is when, when somebody gets it and appreciates it, you know, and it, it's just like uh, that energy becomes full circle because I, I appreciate putting my time and love and energy into it. Mm -hmm. And when somebody takes it, you know, or, 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 you know, or um, purchases it or have it for themselves, sees the value in it. And that, and that, that's where the gift's at. That's where the magic's at. Because you get two, or, you two, or, or two energies or two spirits that are really connected to this, you know, and, and, and the exchange is done in a beautiful way. That's why we really like that there are people that have purchased the stuff today, you know, and it just really, um, it helps, you know, you know, especially during these crazy difficult times for everybody. It's a hard time. You know, but but at the same time, that it's still done in a beautiful way. It's just like even being here with you. Yeah. You know, and you helping out, you helping out so many other people, you know, Thank and you. other artists. We, we're trying. You know, and, 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 <laughs> it, and it going out to be able to go out to the people that are actually purchasing and buying these things. So we really, it's just beautiful to us to be able to have that kind of uh, connection with others. That's wonderful. Yeah. I love the positivity, mm -hmm. especially in these rough times. It's great to get some positive outlook and, and a lot of that done through your art and your jewelry and putting positivity into the universe and making things beautiful. And, and thank you everyone for continuing the the story of these pieces and connecting with them. Yeah. Um, we had someone ask you to look at number 11 one more time. Uh, looks like 11 sold, if price size, it if, it, if it fits. This is oh, number yeah. 11, Tammy, the Naja. Yeah, that Naja is great. And the price on that one was, can we scroll up on that and see what that was? I think that was. I gave a deal on that. 11 was on 315. Three, 315? Yeah, yeah, that's about right. 315 Tammy. Yeah. That's a nice one. I usually wear something like that on me for my sub. I'll put it with a leather a leather strap, you know, and it looks really nice like that too. Mm, the coral one. Okay, people were 
Okay, so Coral's going to be number 13. Number 11 was there for Deborah. She wanted to take a look at that. So I hope you got a chance to look at that. Uh, a, little, a little simpler on the, on the casting. We don't have quite the carving. Uh, but this is still Tufa cast, and these lines here are still all carved. Is mm -hmm. that correct? Yep. Mm -hmm. So we have that salmon coral uh, From piece. the Mediterranean, and they're all natural too. And that right there is only 365. 365 for, so number 11, Vicky's gonna, wants to buy that pendant, I believe, that nausea. Just to let you know, this was number 11, everyone, this, this nausea pendant, and that is sold to Vicky. Let me know, Vicky, if, uh, that is right. Mm. Yeah, um, so this coral right now is number 13. So we'll get so a drumming on the. Oh, cool. <laughs> job the price on the coral three something what three four. what did i say it gave a really super low price three 365 on it 365 i'm sorry deborah it looks like vicky beat you to that one we're showing number three we can't make you another one though we'll stay in touch on that one uh we're looking at five and a half this one can go up this can get up to a seven you, you can go anywhere between six and a fourth and a seven on this this is Item number 13, uh, coral. That one? Yeah, it's not a cool design. Just coral just row cool bracelet. Yeah. For, what'd you say, three? 360. 360? 360? 365, yeah. 365. Because you gotta get your sharing, right? <laughs> 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 there we go. The coral row bracelet, 365, two for cast, number 13. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sounds good. Mm -hmm. Yep, and this will fit me great. I'm a six and a half. There we go. That fits me, and we can be... How old is the coral? Do you know how old the coral is? We right. bought it from... You these... know, that these some of these, these corals that we got were actually, um, uh, let's say, uh, the guy that used to own a gallery, he used to own it back in the 1970s and closed it and put a lot of his jewelry or his stones in. in uh, For sale? Uh, mm -hmm. No, no, no. He had it in a... Um, like an auction? Uh, no, what do you call it? He stored it away in a... Like a vault of... Yeah. Like a safe deposit box? And then, so mm -hmm. then um, he brought came out. So he saw us at a show. He says, I have, I have some stones. You want to take a look at them? Yeah. You know, older fella, right? So we were like, let's just take a chance and take a look. Yeah. And man, it, it, they, were, they were like, you know, they were just in various piles. Huh. So we saw some like we saw some Bisbees in there. We saw and these were cut back in like either the, in the 1970s. Wow. Okay. So he's had those corals there for, for that long now. Oh, we have them now. We bought all the coral from him. So Kathy Suter on YouTube uh, purchased number 13, the coral bracelet. Congratulations, Kathy. Hey. That's good Thank price. you, Kathy. Thank you. Kathy Suter. And that one was Vicky. Yeah. Okay. okay. Ooh. So this next one here will be this ring. That's Sonoran Gold right there. Sonoran it's Gold. That one's pretty popular right now. It's, oh, yeah. It, what's the other size? I don't know. I measured it. I've got a ring size right here. Oh, yeah. That would be great. Yeah. Yeah. Six. I think it was six. Let's check this out. That's a nice one. Uh, we're looking at a seven. Right size on the, right seven on the yeah. nose. That is that's a great size. I know we have size sevens out there. That's a really cool ring. Wow, Sonoran gold. Look at that pyrite in there. That bright green and blue. Beautiful. I think I've got a size seven pinky here. No, this finger about halfway up. You can see the butterfly. It's almost like a concho butterfly. Yeah, it's cool. And this stamps are amazing too. How thick it. is the silver on the coral? It's gone, <laughs> but it was thick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This uh, you have that tufa cast butterfly. Mm -hmm. You can see again that texturing. We've got artist mark here. We are with Reggie Mitchell. What is S? Uh, super. Super Mitchell. <laughs> <laughs> But 
Uh, no, we are, my grandfather, my father, and I, we all have Mitchell, uh -huh. but it, his is E S, my father's R S, and mine is B R, and it's just our first and middle name. Gotcha. Yeah. Here we go. Price. And that one there is that one there is going to be three ninety five. Three ninety five, Wanda. That's nice. That's a nice um, uh, ring. Snow and gold, size seven, three ninety five, butterfly ring. That looks cool when you're strumming a guitar. Well, I bet. Nice thick band there. Pretty simple round double shank band. Sold. Sold. Wanda Carmona on YouTube. Hey, hey. Thank you, Wanda. Thank you, Juan. Boom, boom. That's a old Royston right there. Old Royston. And that's a really beautiful design bracelet too. Here we go. Ooh, yeah, I like that. That's old. That's Look soul style. That. Man. Look at that square. Yeah. You do a lot of your uh, cutting on the stones and yep. that kind of stuff. Yeah. So you trim them up, and you have it. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you take out of other cabs and really. Because yeah. that that square shape is not easy to do, and that perfect. Perfect square like that. That's and then it has heavy uh, heavy twist wires and start of the bezel wire. You have to actually um, be very careful and hammer those in. You the, know, this will be item number fourteen, right? Is that what we're doing, Holden? How much? What number is this? Fifteen. Fifteen. This is item number fifteen. What is your price on this? Before I get measuring, just so people are they're ready. To f you know, I'll go. I'll go ahead and go a solid five hundred on that. Five hundred dollars for this. This is a traditional Navajo cast. Uh, cuff, hand carved, uh, ca uh, hand carved tufa stone, hand poured. Well, wow, I like that. Yeah, that yeah like a honeycomb or something on the back. Yeah, well, we're gonna um, try to inlay some small stones, stones in there. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. But um, I, well, then the square looked good on it. I'm sure you. Do you have casting problems with the with all of the small? Oh my oh, gosh! Yeah. 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 <laughs> sometimes, yeah. sometimes when you're when Bronson's packing the uh, the sand and, and then and having to be able to 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 connect them all, yeah. you know, and to do it in such a way so all of the air and the gases and there will have a way to be able to release. Yeah. That in itself like is your an bits art. art, man. Yeah. No it's kidding. So I was hard. just I was just looking at this one going like, whoa. Yeah. It just. You, it's a, it's a lot of, you know, there's a lot of science involved. And Bronson would say he never thought he would have to use various types of math. math. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm getting measurements. Six and a half of the one inch. So this is, this is going to be naturally right now at a six and a half. I'm going to open it up just a smidge if I can, because that'll fit me great. There we go. I'm a six and a half. Uh, and yeah, that's yeah, fine. Yeah. Look at that. That's great. Boy. That's a really lovely piece. The fluidity in it just captures. It's got that that that, that figure eight design. You know, just can continuous flow. There you go. That's item number fifteen. I don't know if we have a number fifteen no, sticker over there. No, there's a thirteen, and we don't have any more. I right, pick up the drum real fast and see. Oh, there's a fourteen. Okay. 14. Here we go. Carol was asking the size of the pearls. Size of the pearls? It, 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 I believe it's 18. Oh, you mean the... Oh, millimeters? Millimeters wise? Oh, or maybe we'll... we'll it's 18 long. We're looking at uh, about 7 millimeter. Maybe 8. 8 millimeter beads. I'll just show that on camera. This is... I'll put, I'll put this next to number... Five, so five and fifteen will be on the same one. We're talking about these Navajo pearls, eighteen inches, uh, look like uh, eight millimeter, starting off probably around ten millimeter uh, discs, and as these were formed, uh, they became eight millimeter beads. Aaron Smith has a question about shipping. Aaron Smith has a question about shipping. Maybe we'll take a minute just to get back into the way this works. If you're, this is your first time uh, watching, welcome to the show. Um, we appreciate you spending your time with us. Uh, shipping to Australia can be difficult. We're going to have to check with our, we have done it before. The problem is customs to Australia. They hold your stuff for like a month to make sure there aren't uh, like 
mites and uh, wood weevils and things like that in the jewelry uh, because it's very devastating to the population. We can do it. We have done it. Uh, I think it'll cost like an extra 15 bucks or something like that. We'll have to check with our logistics teams, but we can do it. Uh, items that we were showing on the show are for sale. This is a sale show. Uh, these items belong to Reggie and Bronson Mitchell. Um, if you see something you like, all you have to do is say sold in the comments, and we just need your email to check you out. Uh, we do offer layaway. Uh, any item over $250 does qualify for our layaway program, and we require 25% down, which is non-refundable, and then 25% a month for every month after that. So, that's oh, good. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. That's really cool. Anything else? Who? Of Ready course. Now? Let's try this. Oh, yeah, yeah, I was just eyeballing that. Just the. Uh, pattern that is some people refer to it as like a, a dragon scale dragon scale yeah. So, yeah that's really cool that is super cool when the when the hero twins and it got were running from the uh the bird a, a, a monster wanted to eat them they ran they ran into their grandfather the uh horn toad mm -hmm. and the horn toad says why are you afraid of that monster for you know he's afraid of me and then he's then they're like um so then he says well he's he's big he's giant so then they said, well, show them this. And so then he reaches up and grabs the top of his, um, his head there and he takes off the, you know, the top of his head there and he shows it to the boys. And he says, this is, a, this is your shield. Go back up to that monster and show, call him out and show him. So that's what they did. And then they, the monster was tripped out, freaked out that there was that, the head of the, the, oh, the horn toad. Yeah, yeah. The horn toad. And then stumbled back, stumbled back, and he fell to his... Demi. He fell off, off the, a cliff. Off the they cliff. ran him off a cliff. Yeah, ran him off. Yeah. Wow, that's that's cool. So that's that's like that's the, oh. that pattern, that horn toad, yeah. dragon. Uh, yes, yes, the pearls are for sale. I believe they were six hundred. Mm -hmm. uh, those are handmade Navajo pearls. <clears throat> uh, Laura, I'll, if we have any other pendants, we got some questions for more pendants. Ooh, we got this large nausea right there. Yeah, huh? yeah We'll sure. get that one up next. Uh, I want to see your jewelry basket. You know what? Let me uh, let me hold that one up to the camera real fast. We'll just hold the basket up. Oh, okay. We've got jewelry. You know, what? here, let's put it. Let's go this way so you don't have to hold it uh, okay. at an angle. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. So, uh, go back to this camera, well then. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, we, we're pulling from the basket. This is an old wedding basket, and uh, we're just we're just picking and pulling. Okay, pearls sold to Carol. Oh, wonderful. What were the pearls priced at? Uh, 600? 625 on that. It was 625? Carol Thank you, Carol. sold. Uh, Carol Easton Jones. Those are, those are well made. Thank you. Did you do that? Oh, yeah. Oh, man, that's I a, do that's all a the lot stuff of work. that no one wants to do. <laughs> <laughs> I remember <laughs> just like the time on yeah, that. Yeah, I remember just like. Being little and not not make, like it. Make one more, yeah. Is Back to the. Let's finish up the. Uh, oh yeah, the, the dragon dragons. scale. Mm -hmm. We just we're getting. Oh, yeah, we, yeah. We were gonna ask six hundred for that. We'll go ahead and go, I'll go ahead and go for um, four seventy five on that bracelet. Four seventy five on the dragon scale. Two for cast. That is super cool texture. Man, just. I, I wish I could capture that. Look at look at that. The way yeah. that. A light catches. That's cool. Yeah, it's a good price for that. Yeah, great. That was item number 16. 16. Um, uh, Laura wanted to look at a pendant. Can I show one of these? these sure, show here? all three if you want. Okay. We'll go one at a time. Otherwise, we're going to have people going bonkers on. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Would you please tell me the stone in the cross uh, that she purchased? That stone in the cross over there. Yeah, may I have a look? Yeah. I want to say it's king. Yeah, you'll believe that one's a kingman for sure. That was a kingman stone. Uh, Tammy, a beautiful kingman stone. Mm. And that, yep. Also the measurement of the cross. Also the measurement of the cross. Which one is the cross? Oh, a bit sold, so oh, okay. it's over so there just on check that table. On her, on her purchase here. Uh, 
It looks like two and, and, and three eighths by one and a half. Okay. Moving along, uh, Laura wanted to check out some of the pendants, so we've got a couple pendants for you. Um, we've got the, the Naja here. That's pink salmon coral at the top. Pink yeah. salmon coral, and then was this gaspiite or something? No, those ones there are. Oh, that's um, turquoise, isn't it? Yeah, that's turquoise. That's uh, a snoring, snoring gold, gold also. Snoring gold. Snoring gold and pink salmon. Wow, that's Corn cool. stalk in the center. What is the price on this one? Um, yeah. I'll, you know, I'll, I'll be generous on that one too. I'll go ahead and go 285 on that. 285, this is item number 17, 285 on the Naja pendant. Um, we need to get a size on the dragon scale for Adam. That's, you'll like it, Adam. It, it, it's a, it is malleable. I mean, it can be brought in or out. This is five and a quarter. I mean, it fit me really well, and I'm in it with a one and a quarter, so it's six and a half. I am a six and a half, and that fits me perfect. Yeah, so you can, you can bring it down a little bit. You can bring it up a little bit. Number 17 sold, which was the, the Naja. So this is sold to Diane Spees. Oh, cool. Right on. Thank you, Number Diane. Oh, that, that, that drum. Is that one already. Yeah. Hoo -ah. So, uh, so this guy's next. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, big guy. Man, that's heavy. Yeah, there's a lot of beautiful. That's, that's oh, I like that. that. Is that the dark, dark horse right there? Yeah, that's the horse there and the name. Then the, of course the texture of the um, the tufa of the cast, right? And then the bale's cool. I like that bale. Yeah, check out that bale. You can fit that on some some pretty big pearls. Number sixteen, Number 16 sold to Adam. Hey, hey. hey thank that you, is. Adam. Adam, you got a good price there, buddy. That, that's cool. Yeah, I like that. Behind. Congratulations. Back to the Naja. This is number eighteen. And the stamp works really great on that piece there too. Yeah, you're stamping there along the sides. You got the stamps on the bale. Mm -hmm. Nice large bale. What is your price on this piece? No, this stone. Let me see the stone here. You know, I'll do. I'll do five fifteen on that. Five fifteen. That's a deal. For that it's 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 big it's heavy yeah it's got a beautiful turquoise stone we're looking at four three and a half inches in hang with the bale the nausea itself is uh two and a half i got a question about the stone which one Where? what yeah. kind of stone is this is it is that is that kingman it looks like yeah, yeah. definitely it looks like kingman to me Beautiful blue Kingman stone. There's four. There's four mines in the Kingman area, Ithaca Peak. Uh, this is one of the, the main, the big Kingman mine, I believe, right here. There's also Turquoise Mountain, uh, and those are all in the Kingman district. So that could be Turquoise Mountain. That could be just the main Kingman. But this looks, this looks like the Kingman district to me. Yeah, it's beautiful. You can see how it dome. That's a lot of silver. I mean, um, uh, turquoise there also. See the doming of that turquoise? There's a good shot of yeah, it. Yeah, it's great. It's sticking out there. That is number 18 for 515. Let me stick that by number 8. Mm, yeah. Right there, there we go. Uh, what's our time look like, Holden? It's 442. 442. We've got about 15 minutes. Okay. We do? How about we go with the, some, some of these? Like yeah, this. let's show the good goods. And Bolotai. That's also one of king, but that's really beautiful. Check that out. You know, these are the, these are the bows on the sides, and then those are the arrows there, six on each side. Jaron Overstreet, if you're watching, I know you like unique, one of a kind Bolotais. Yeah, that's a cool Bolotai there for sure. I like your Bolo tips too. That's solid. Yeah, we don't play when it comes to silver. I tell you. No kidding. Uh, there we go. We've got this beautiful Bolo tie. Uh, heavy tufa concho, tufa cast concho, square Kingman turquoise stone. And that's only 2200. 2200. 
Wow, did you hand weave this uh, cord too? Man, that's a unique looking cord. That's that cool. cool. Yeah. That's good quality leather. That Yeah, that leather's nuts. That was number 19, that was 2200. And then there's the... Yeah. That's half the basket right there, that belt. This is this is natural um, uh, candelaria, yeah. candelaria turquoise here. Wow, all of it. Candelaria is a gold mine. Yeah. And there is a. And this is going to be a steal of the day. I want to go ahead and yep. see that, everyone. Yeah, that's that's a lovely piece. Wow, check that out. We got one, two, three, four, five, all six, natural, seven, natural eight, candelaria eight, turquoise. Eight conchos with the ninth being a uh, the buckle, big the buckle. buckle, big buckle, two for cast. Concho belt. Natural Candelaria turquoise. Let's get a shot of that there. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. It's gorgeous. Thick and heavy. And each of these were also cast. So we didn't get like a sheet and use a press and hammer out a bunch of conchos like you see a lot of the times. Yeah, yeah. all the mass production are, conchos. Are these are not mass yeah. production conchos. These, these are, are all made yeah. one at a time. Beautiful um, leather belt. It is unpunched, uh, so we will make it to your size. Yeah. What is your price on your belt? I want to go real low on that. I'll, you know, I'll I'll do fifty. I'll do fifty six hundred for it. Fifty six hundred. Fifty six hundred. This is item number twenty. Control belt. And if you are watching the show and you see some of these items. Uh, and you're not live, if you are interested, these could still be available. Please don't hesitate to contact us. 505-274-6245. Uh, oh, yeah. Let me get our phone number out there. Where did that went? Right here. If you need to get a hold of us, uh, we're here in Albuquerque, New Mexico. You can come see us live at 8106 Manal. Uh, you can call us here at the shop, 505-862-9443. Um, reach out to us on Facebook. You can message us on Messenger, visit our website, tskies.com, or you can email us, hello, at tskies.com. Uh, does that even cover the cost of silver? Geez. Well, <laughs> we might. Yeah, yeah. Probably even. We make a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. Might as well, Merc. Yeah. We get a sandwich. Yeah, yeah the, the stones, man. The again, stones yeah. are <laughs> expensive. <laughs> we got to we gotta eat some food. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this. Um, this is this is two for cast too. Okay. You see the butterflies there? Yeah. On both sides. This is um, uh, Sleeping Beauty turquoise. That's a beautiful, beautiful bracelet right there. There we go, Sleeping Beauty. Wow, look at that color. Yeah. Hi, Margie. We have one set of pearls, and I know Bronson's put his life and soul into those pearls, and they are gone. Uh, from today's show, we'll have more pearls up in the future. Um, wow, this is amazing. What is the price on this bracelet here? Yeah, that one there, I'll go, I'll go super low on that too with those natural uh, sleeping beauties, and I'll go ahead and go eighteen sixty five on that. Eighteen sixty five. Wow, oh, those stones. Fine. Yeah, that's you're looking at about a twenty five hundred dollar piece right there. I'm selling it, for, you know, today at eighteen sixty five. That's nice. You can see the beautiful. See, I wish we would have brought that tufa stone so you could actually see, you know, yeah, that. where it came mm -hmm. from. Yeah. Next time you come on, you're gonna have to bring. Yeah. We bring, bring all our molds. Yep. You know, or the ones that survive. <laughs> there we go. Five and a quarter with a one and a quarter inch gap, maybe one inch gap. So we're looking at six and a quarter to a seven. You can bring that up. Six and a quarter to a seven, Angela, on that size. For eighteen sixty-five. This is number 21. Do you want to put that by 11? Do we see this one yet? No, we haven't. Oh, man. That's a beautiful um, butterfly bracelet there. Is that Newlander turquoise? Yeah, mm -hmm. it's Newlander turquoise. Um, oh, my gosh. It's look, killer. Look at that turquoise, everyone. This is called Newlander uh, in that in that same uh, in Lander County. Uh, one has heard of Lander Blue, which is another turquoise mine. This is its cousin. Oh my gosh, that turquoise is expensive too. Mm. Beautiful though. Look, I mean, yeah, my. 
Yeah, that's lovely. And that right there is only, um, that's only $1,200. And if you look on the inside there too, you'll see the horse stamp and all that BD also in it. That's good. The, sta the stamping is really great in that piece. R.S. Mitchell there. Got that, two for, that natural two for cast. Texture. Texture. Man, that's just so pretty on camera. <laughs> I, I don't think the camera does it justice. Like I'm trying to get the trying to get this turquoise to show up, but man, I can see it in real life, and it's just getting that. Yeah, lots of great compliments. Ever. Yeah, yeah thank you all. Yeah, yeah, we really appreciate it. This is item number twenty-one. Oh, this is twenty-two. Item twenty-two. Twenty-two for twelve hundred. Let's sell out those earrings. Those are gonna go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. What was the size on that last one? Uh. Thank you, Holden, for keeping me straight. Five and a half with a one and a quarter. So you're looking at a six and three quarters to seven and a quarter. It's gonna be a little loose on me, but that still fits. So we can we can bring that back down to a six and a half, or you can pull it up to about a seven and a quarter. Wonderful. These earrings are gonna go quick, everyone, so get your trigger finger ready. These are Bronson Mitchell. Uh, hand shape. Thick, Those are thick silver. And they're 165. 165 each. We've got three pairs of the Concho earrings. 165 for the Concho earrings. Get a little piece of the Mitchell collection, Dark Horse collection. Sold one to Tammy Barons. Thanks, so, thank you, Tammy. Uh, we've got Jackie Sears going to buy another pair. Oh, thank oh. you. <laughs> there we go. And uh, we've got one pair left, and Kathy Sears buying the third pair. Oh, wonderful. We're sold out. Thank you. Sorry, Carol. <laughs> they beat you to it. Okay, so we've got Kathy Sears. You got them all? Yeah. Okay. How much more time do we have? Uh, we're, thank we're you. We're pretty close. Ten minutes. Okay. 10 minutes. We'll see what we can get through in 10 minutes and we'll Look do it. a quick run through of everything. Look at that bracelet. Oh my gosh, we got turquoise. That's a really lovely bracelet there. The four winds design with this. Oh man, look, look at, at that. that. Just. That, it's almost frosty. Like my finger's going to freeze just getting close to it. <laughs> <laughs> twist wire, the bezel wire, everything, the, the snap work, that's a really, really gorgeous bracelet too. Everyone wanted your earrings, looks like you had quite a few people ask for them. <laughs> I know, I was surprised, because in comparison, you know, I was like, oh man, I was working my little fingers off, but I'm really happy they all I'm, went. I'm sorry ladies, we'll, 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 have, we'll, have, we'll have them back, I hope, if you're interested. Oh yeah, we'd yeah. love to, yeah, we'd love and, to. And we'll, we'll, we'll have some more, and we'll let you know when, when they come back, and we'll, we'll get some more earrings. But I mean, look at the. I, it was hard not to pull out some of these amazing bracelets with some of these stones. It's just yeah, that's, a, that's a lot of stone on that one there I, too. I need to. I, I know I need, need to speed up a little bit so we can get some more, but I just can't help myself by looking at. Look at that. What's the size? On? Size. Uh, size and the price. Five and a quarter with a one inch, so six and a quarter. I can open that up. Six and a quarter, six and a half, six and three quarters. This will go anywhere from six and a quarter to six and three quarters. And the price? I was going to ask for fourteen, but I'll go twelve fifty on it. Twelve fifty. It and and it's that stone. Look at that stone. Let me get a shot on this camera. Hold it. That stone one more time. Boom. Yeah. That is yeah. super high grade, right there. And that twist. That twist wire really pops on it too. And this is the four winds. Yeah. That is item number 20, 23. 23. Lapis row. Mm. You feel Ooh, that? That's thick. You can feel the weight of that silver Ooh. in that. Did you roll that plate? Yeah, no. yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's amazing. It's stamped on the inside as well. Let's look at that. We've got five stone lapis row. <laughs> this is better than Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Uh, we'll get a price and size on this. What's your price on that? Uh, that one there, you know, I'll do a, I'll go ahead and go a, a steal on that at um, 
I'll go 16, 1680 on that. 1680 on the lapis. Look at how thick this silver is. I'm trying to measure it. I'm just, and the texture. Yeah, it's serrated on one side and it's not on the other. You see. There you go. You see that flat on that side and texture on this one. This one's going to be a little bigger. This one is going to be uh, five and three fourths with a one and one and a fourth. So we're looking at a uh, a size seven to eight. You can do a seven to eight on this one. Yeah, that's lovely. I'm a six and a half, and that's pretty loose on me. I'm sure we could squeeze it down a little bit, but it still works better as a seven uh, to eight. And you can see like on the cool stamping on the on sides there too. Check out that Kiva step pattern there with the yuccas underneath. And then the stamp work on the inside. Inside. That extra attention to detail there. You know, this isn't for everyone to see, but you know that, that this is there for you. Your bracelet. Love the extra details. Mm -hmm. Wow, cool. That's I really like that piece. Yeah, that's great. That was at a number 20. That is 24. 20, 24. Now this here is also a tooth for cast bracelet. You can see the corn stock right there. Okay, wow, all you the way see up. that? Yeah. And on the other side too. This is really lovely. That's, that's and then of course the bow on each side for protection, Sleeping Beauty turquoise. Let's review that. We just, uh, you see that corn stalk going all the way up into the turquoise mm -hmm. blossom there. That's on both sides. Wow, this is true art. I can't imagine how many defects you get with this and how no. many times you got to cast it until yeah. you get a perfect one, huh? If you get that perfect one, you start jumping for joy because yeah. it came out right and you spent all day casting. Literally, yeah. it's like one of the greatest feelings ever. It is it's really <laughs> a good feeling. So we got the, look at that turquoise, and then and then what Reggie was just saying, this the supporting uh, edge of the cuff here is a bow, bow for protection, warrior's bow. Um, so you've got the corn. And the corn, actually, uh, the stock of it is represents um, prosperity and growth. Corn, prosperity, corn, uh, life. If you don't have corn, you don't survive. You don't eat. You don't live. That's a really nice. I'm bringing the bow. To That's amazing. And then the bow. You can see that pulling that bow string right there. Yeah. Wow. I was asking twenty four. Um, today I'll go ahead and go straight two thousand for that. Two thousand dollars for the. Corn bow. I don't know what do you call it. Corn bow. Corn yeah, that works. Corn, corn bow. bow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the corn stock. I was thinking corn row. And yeah, then just corn. Yes, yeah, the corn. Yeah, the corn stock. All the way up, man. Corn stock. The detail in that. Look at it from the back side there. Look at that corn just come all the way to the to that turquoise. Mm -hmm. I just. There's a lot of silver there. These guys are incredible. No kidding. No, oh, thank you much. Mm -hmm. size? Oh, let me get a size on that. Two thousand dollars. Yeah, that'll fit about a person with an eight, eight size eight wrist. It's almost uh, almost a six uh, cuff with a one and a quarter. So you're looking at this seven and cool. a seven and a quarter this to start. Cool. That will open up to eight. Best one yet. That was a great one. Nicole. Cool? Uh, yeah. Like let, that. Me, let me sell this one. This is going to be gone. Okay. Cool. Okay. Whatever. <laughs> this one's gonna be gone because I know it. We have people asking for a pendant. This one's been over there. Got this uh, beautiful concho pendant with the corn. Uh, the bale has a cool little stamp on it too. I know it's tiny, but those little little details are like. Got a little stamp there. Kind of a little bit of an indentation right here, but that's just part of the design? Well, when I soldered it together, I really needed a, a secured joint, so I had to hammer that down. Oh, I see. Yeah, so it doesn't look as aesthetically <laughs> pleasing, but. But you don't see that. This is on the, that's on the inside. Yeah, so it's meant for a special person, because, and also at the same time, there's nothing out there. I liked it. That's no. really a one of a kind piece right there. What is your price on this piece? We'll go low on that. At, uh, I'll go ahead and go to 270. Is that with the chain? Yep. Wow, okay, 270. Cool. Uh, okay. 
He got he, for the chain. Yeah, he wants to throw it in there, so he's got to steal with the chain. I tell you that. <laughs> there you go. Bit of hesitation on that. We're going to honor that price, two seventy, or the uh, corn concho pendant. Any more nausea? We've got one more nausea. We've, we've got one more nausea. Yeah, right there. This is uh, item number thirty. And then uh, our last nausea tonight. Very simple. What, what, what is this? Yeah, those are, those are tassels, right? Like the end of a rug, like the Navajo of, rugs. Yeah. TC is asking how long the chain was on this. I think it's like 18. It could be, maybe a little bit less. It's kind of tight on me. So, number 27, the chance here. 27, we have 27 over there. By I, have, I have 25 here. Is uh, the Contra the pendant? Yeah. Oh, the Contra pendant sold, Tina Stanley. Yeah, and that was a 20 inch chain. Oh, you just gotta, yeah. gotta, gotta be that's dead. a good I guess so. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> thank you. Oh, yeah, the yeah, boom, boom. Yeah, that's right. So, this is number 28 right here the uh, tassel, the tassel yeah. nausea. And what is your price on the nausea? Congratulations, Tina. We'll go, uh, we'll, go, we'll go cheap on that too. We'll go ahead and go uh, 245 on that piece there. 245 for the uh, Navajo traditional cast Naja. Mm -hmm. With yeah. the shepherd's hook. With the shepherd's hook there for adjustment onto your beaded necklaces. Two. One's are going to sell right? This one. Yeah, this I one know, we just want to see it all. This is 20, 28. There's that one there. Oh man, it just doesn't stop, does it? That's also a new, new lander too. Look at that new lander. That's 485. 485? Mm -hmm. Holy smokes, this one's gone. Uh, 485, did you hear that, Holden? Yeah. 485, this is item number 29. 29. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a five with a one and a quarter inch gap. Uh, one inch gap, six and a half. If I open it just a smidge, that'll fit me. There we go, new lander. Yeah, they that Wow. That also features the bows for protection. Here we go, you got your bow there. The outside for protection. And then we have our sun, sunbeam arrows. Oh, I see it on the sides there. Yeah. All the way around. And then the four buttons are for the sacred parts of the journey too. There you go. That's a good deal. That is uh, number. Yeah, that's a good deal for that bracelet. 29, 485. 29, can you put that above the nine? Oh, yeah. I guess that'd be with the, con with the contra, I mean the photo. Oh, right here? Yeah. Okay. We're gonna, mm -hmm. we're gonna run through a couple bracelets here real fast and then we'll just. Uh, Any of these you wanna show? Yeah, I want to show this one. Okay, cool. That's yeah, a nice one. That's a that's natural Egyptian turquoise. Egyptian turquoise. Check that out. Yeah, that's what we refer to as our infinity bracelet. That's really a beautiful bracelet. That's a, it'll fit us more of a smaller wrist. Smaller 29. wrist. Uh, number twenty nine soul. That is the new lander. Cool. Congratulations, Rita. Thanks, Rita. Thank you, Rita. Oh my gosh, look at this piece. I just, that turquoise has been standing out to me the whole time in that basket. I've been meaning to grab it yeah. and we just keep going. Uh, natural Egyptian turquoise. We call mm. that the infinity bracelet because if you were to imagine the whole piece being flat, and you look at the middle, you would see uh, the figure, figure eight. eight pattern. Oh, I middle. see. Okay. And of course, the bow is on the sides too this, for protection. It comes around here yeah. and around the other side. Yeah. Let's get a measurement on that. This is going to be a small wrist. This is going to be a small wrist here, which is good. We we need a couple smaller wrist pieces. F uh, four and three fourths, with just under a one inch. So, uh, five and three fourths. They can. Squeeze down to five and a half and up to probably a six. And that will be only eight eight sixty-five for that piece. Eight sixty-five and that turquoise right there is 
It's worth a lot. Yeah. yeah, it's worth a lot. Sold number 30. Which is number 30? Is it, are we on number 30 right now? Number 30 was... Was the last piece? No, the last piece was 29. We're skipping around a little. Okay, so, so th this is pieces. this is number 30 right here, right? <laughs> this one's listed at 31. Number 30 was the nausea. Nausea, okay. <laughs> this one. Adam, just to, I'm sorry, I, I misspoke earlier and my numbers are off, but Adam is purchasing the nausea, is that correct? Oh no, he meant 31, he meant this piece here. Okay, okay so that was my bad with 30. Nausea, uh, the Egyptian turquoise is going to Adam Dawson. Oh, wow. Wonderful. Thank Thanks. you, Adam. Thanks, Adam. Dragon scale. Oh, okay. mm. Man, I wish we had more time. Right? Yeah, I'll tell you yeah. what. Oh, look at that. Let's let's do let's do this big one. Let's That's a big bracelet there. Wow. Okay, we've had some requests for some bigger bracelets. We call it the five B five B's big bad beautiful bold bracelet. Big bad beautiful bold bracelet. With the bows and the four Yeah, that's a lot of weight there, people. And that's uh, Stone Mountain Turquoise, natural. Stone Mountain. A lot of, lot of carrots this, there. This is huge. Let me get a measurement on it. This is, I mean, look look at it on my wrist. <laughs> look, it just, it just makes me feel like a, just a little, little kid. <laughs> <laughs> get a measurement on that. It is, uh, almost six and a half, six and a, Six and a quarter, one and a half. I mean, that's pretty close to an eight by itself. That could probably open up a little bit to an eight and a half. Anywhere between seven and a half and eight and a half. That's a large bracelet. That's a big, the stone again is, is, is beautiful, natural. Okay, so we, we do need to scan over real fast what hasn't sold. We've got, we're gonna give you a preview what is here. The price on this piece right now. What is the price on this piece? Um, I'll go ahead and go a steal on that at uh, at twenty one hundred. Twenty one hundred dollars and all that silver, the stone mountain turquoise. That's number thirty two. Okay, uh, let's get, we're gonna scan through real because we've got a lot of pieces here to to go back through real fast. Um, we're gonna do these as best as we can. I hope. Uh, do you have prices written down or are they just in the? I have prices written down. Right now. Awesome. Yes. You're 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 the man. Okay, here we go. We're gonna start off with number three. I am surprised this one's still here. Check this out. Turquoise bracelet, the shape fits around the wrist bones. Yeah. Autumn Creek. Autumn Creek turquoise. Uh, what is the price on this, Holden? $4.95. $4.95. Number four was the Sleeping Beauty Naja. Uh, price on that one, Holden? That is $4.45. 445. Uh, number six sold. Number seven was the, oh yeah, Kingman Spider Web, um, Water Web uh, Belt Buckle. Price on that one? 1665. 1665. Size yes. on three? Size on three. Um, I think this was a six and a half. Six and a half there, and that will move up or down six and a quarter to probably get that to be a seven. Okay, number eight. Uh, this is a smaller bracelet. Um, this is going to be like six, uh, five and a, uh, three quarters to a six and a quarter. Four twenty-five. Four twenty-five. Number nine was the Brandon. Brandon, Pitt. yeah, Brandon Pitt. Brandon Pitt fox turquoise. Yeah, the fox. Sandcast ring. Sandcast ring. Oh, yeah, well. size eleven. Five hundred dollars. Number ten is sold. Number eleven. Oh yeah, this is a big boy. This is the one. It's a butter butterfly. Butterfly concho bracelet. With Sleeping Beauty. With Sleeping Beauty turquoise, and the price on this one was what twenty two hundred. It was up there. Yeah. What do you What do you have there? You had what? You had what? Was that 21? I don't think I wrote it down. Okay, I think that was 2200. Well, no, let's just bring that down too. Let's go ahead and go, um, I'll go $1,900 on that. 1900. Uh, 
Uh, number 12 is the uh, Damali Verisite. Is that what that was? Mm -hmm. Four wins. Yep, exactly. See, I'm learning. Yeah, yeah, you got it down. Uh, number 12, Holden, do you have that one? That one's on here at 700. 700. I can't wait for this one, uh, this was actually number 23, I think, actually. Yeah, 23, yeah. Yeah, I, I kind of skipped ahead, number 23. What's your price on 23, Holden? 1200 1200 mm -hmm. Number four sold, the Naja. Mm -hmm. Number four. Mm -hmm. Four sold to Barbara Fisher. Thank you, Barbara. We're going to get hold in a second yeah, to catch up a little bit. You got, that's a beautiful Naja. I really like the Sleeping Beauties in there. Just gorgeous piece. Thank you so much. Can I show number eight again? I'll show number eight again real fast. We'll, let's get back. We've got a lot of pieces to go through. And we, I know we're going over everyone. I know everyone doesn't mind that we're going over. We have a lot of work to do, though, on our end. I'll tell you what. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what. Okay. This is the number eight. Get a size for you on that again. I'm just also giving Holden a second to catch up back there. Holden's holding on. He's man, he's doing great. <laughs> he's just holding it together. Five. So this will be a four and three quarters to a six and a quarter. That's a really beautiful piece, especially if you. I like that. Flip it the other way. Turn it down like that. Yeah. You can uh, see the symmetry. On my table. <laughs> Table's full. Nails. Uh, let's move on to number 13 over there. This, well, this no, was 23. This is okay, number this is 14. 14 was the Lapis. Sold number 8. Number 8. To uh, Claydina. Claydina. Thank you, Claydina. <laughs> Thank you very much. Lapis Row. This is number 14. That's lovely. You can oh, feel the weight of that yeah, silver. Yeah, this in there. is just, oh my gosh, it's so solid. Look how thick that silver is. Stamping all the way around. <coughs> Excuse me. Bless you. Yeah. It's number 14. Are we seeing the pressures on that one? There's a lot. <coughs> Excuse me. Sleeping, yeah. Sleeping Beauty Cuff. Wonder Carmona wants to look at that. Sleeping Beauty Cuff. This one here. Yeah, oh, yeah. So. Okay, the butterfly one. Here you go, Wanda. <coughs> <coughs> oh, I already said your name right. Claudina. Or Claudina. Of course, I say it wrong as soon as I... <laughs> <laughs> Wanda on uh, YouTube wanted to check out another shot of the Sleeping Beauty uh, Concho brace, uh, bracelet. Here we go. That was item number 11 that's for lovely. 1900. Yeah, that's a really unique bracelet for sure. Uh, this here? Yeah, I think so. That's the corn stock. For corn stock. Number 18 again. So this is number 18, the corn stock? No, he, someone wants to see 18. So. 18, number 8, and then right here. Number 18 is the Naja. We do not have any more cross pendants. I will make sure to let them know next time they come in and bring some more cross pendants. Yeah, cool. we'll, we'll have a lot more stuff for sure next time. Look at that. Beautiful. Uh, what was Kingman. the price on this one? Um, all the one low on that, too. Five something. Five. It's like 15. 515, yeah. 515. A lot of silver and that you can feel that too. And yeah, that that's it's heavy. Look at that turquoise sticking up, bows out. <clears throat> to the corn stock bracelet here. Yeah, this is one of my favorites just because I know the difficulty of that. I can imagine how long it. You just, I mean, there's a lot of math. Yeah. Making sure that you're that you have enough. Uh, Flow going yeah, through this. Yeah, weight. Yep. Airflow. And, and that's yep. natural um, um, Sleeping Beauty also. Sleeping Beauty as well. Uh, Mickey Martin is going to purchase the Naja. Congratulations, Mickey. Hey, hey. On the Naja. Oh, yes, thank you. Boom, boom. Thank you so much. 
Yeah. So I don't know if you got the Sleeping Beauty cup for 1900. I don't know. The butterfly one? The butterfly one, that one? This one? Yeah, let's take that back. Uh, I don't know if you got, did you want to purchase this one, Wanda? Because if it's, if you wanted this one, it's yours. I did, we didn't see, I, maybe it didn't come through. We didn't see sold. Would you like this one? Yeah. Yeah, I really like that. Corn sold. sold. The Wanda Carmona. Thank yeah, you, dude. Wanda. Thank you, Wanda. Wow. That is, you're going to like that piece. I, I love it, Wanda. It's beautiful. Really beautiful piece. Yeah. Oh, does she have one? Yeah. Hers? Yeah. Okay. And then what number are we on now? I think we're still running down. We were, uh, we were on the corn stock. People were asking how much the corn. Oh, okay. Corn was. We need, probably should give Holden just a second, too. To yeah. Yeah, Chep, he's, he's got a desk full of jewelry. We're, we have a lot of work to do. We've got a lot work to do. <laughs> well, that's great though. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well dang. Well, we're going to have a lot of work to do too. Yeah, us too. <laughs> yeah. We stock up. Yeah. Are you going to Indian market this year or if they do it? Well, if they do, if they do it. it. Yeah. yeah we for we sure. were already in it. Yeah. You know, in, in for last year, we were going to, we were on the square and then, you know, pandemic. Yeah. That happened. yeah. It's one of the reasons why we, we started bringing more guests on the show because, you know, just there wasn't any shows, and there's yeah, a lot of people that rely on those shows to make a living. This is your, yeah. this is your living, your livelihood here. Right. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, yeah, that's why we do this, and it's working out. Thank you for coming today. Yeah, thanks for having us, and thank you all for tuning in and loving our jewelry. Thank you so much. Well, we're still going. We're still going. We're gonna we're gonna wrap up here uh, with the uh, the corn stock. Do you remember how much this one was, Holden? Um, was it fifty? No, that's. What's the number off? I, I didn't see a number here. It was off to the side, so we probably lost track of that oh, one. It, it was in the middle of a lot that are yeah. high numbers. So. I said, I think I was asking 24, and we went to 2,000. I think you said, oh, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, it, was you brought, yeah it was 24, yeah. and you said, yeah, I'm just going to make it 2,000. That's right. $2,000 for the corn. But that has a lot of silver in it, too, also. 2K. Yeah, like Barbara got us. She's, she said it, too. Wanda, you've got the you've got that Sleeping Beauty. We set it aside for you. All right. And then this one, this one here is two thousand. Corn was two k. Thank you, Barbara. Uh, this this one here, I don't even remember the number of it, but it's two thousand dollars. It was item number twenty five. That's the corn stock break. Sorry, Rose. Sorry you tuned in late today. Uh, you, we're going to wrap up the video in just a minute, and you, you, everyone can go back and check out these prices one more time. Uh, we, we have a price on the Lapis, uh, which was number 14, Holden. All right. It's either 14 or 24. 24, probably. Yeah, that Lapis yeah, is 24. beautiful. You get 24 was 1680. 1680 on this piece. That's right. Uh, so if this was number 25, 26 would be the, the Naja. Number 26 was the nausea. Uh, 270. 270, that's a deal. I have a piece of dark horse in your collection. Mm -hmm. 26. Uh, number 19, I'm going back to 19 because we forgot to show this one, was the bolo tie. Bolo tie. Waterweb Kingman. Waterweb Kingman turquoise. With the bows and arrows. With those, I love these bolo tips, and look at that cord. That's that's a cool cord. And the price on that one, number 19, is 2200 And then the Concho belt. We skipped the Concho belt as well. This one was $5,600 for that. Concho belt there. And it's all, all natural candelaria turquoise. Candelaria turquoise. Gold mine. <clears throat> there we go. So I almost feel like I have it upside down sometimes and there's a triangle that goes another way. <laughs> there we go. 
for that concho. 5600 for this concho. That is so hard to show on camera. Mm -hmm. Okay, you can punch it or buys it. You can size it. We'll size place. it for you if you end up liking this piece. All right, and so that we we do have some pieces left. However, I hope you tune in next time, and I hope that you're able to come back. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, thank you for joining us. Uh, my name is Matthew James here at Turquoise Skies here in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Uh, we know your time is valuable, and there's a lot of shows out there. And we appreciate you spending your time with us. Yes, yeah, thank you so much. Yes, thank you. Thank you, uh, Reggie and Bronson, for coming in today and sharing your just amazing work. Yeah, thanks. Your artists, uh, you can see that, that professionalism, that attention to detail, just the incredible workmanship in every single piece. Mm. And everyone else can see it as well. Um, thank you, everyone. Uh, we will be here again on Tuesday at 3.30 Mountain Standard Time with our regular shows. Uh, we're here every Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, and sometimes Wednesdays now. We're having more requests for more artist shows, and so we hope to bring you more of my friends, uh, uh, artists that I know, uh, to in the shop, and so you can meet them and, and, and buy from them yourself. And we hope this is a good service for, for artists oh, uh, yeah. to be able to have, have an outlet to be able to... Um, Another way, I know not everyone is able to come to, to the markets. Not everyone's able to get out, especially during the pandemic times, to come out and meet people. And we hope this is an opportunity for you to meet uh, artists and ask questions. Um, so thank you again for coming tonight. We'll see you next time. Mm -hmm. Have a great night. Thanks. Thank you. Bye. Mm -hmm.